Our directions are to write this ratio as a fraction in simplest form. We have 8 and 6 tenths to 10, so in fraction form, this is 8 and 6 tenths over 10. We wouldn't call this in simplest form though since the numerator contains a decimal number. So let's do something so that the numerator and denominator have no factors in common, it is in simplest form, but also so that the numerator is not a decimal number. If I multiply the numerator by 10, remember that moves the decimal point one place to the right, or you can simply multiply it out long ways to see that. But what I'm going to do then is multiply the numerator by 10 so that it is no longer a decimal number. If I do that, I must multiply the denominator by 10 also because remember this is the same as 1. So I'm not changing the value of this ratio or fraction. So in the numerator, 8 and 6 tenths times 10 is 86. In the denominator, 10 times 10 is 100. Now notice this is still not in simplest form. 86 and 100, I know there's at least a common factor of 2. 86 is 2 times 43. 100 is 2 times 50. And so I can divide out that common factor of 2, and I have 43 over 50. This is a fraction, so it is in fraction form. It is in simplest form because the numerator and the denominator have no common factors other than 1.